everyone and welcome to day 6. So today we're going to talk about solving equations, something that you've learned already, but just as a review. So we have two types, actually three types of equations. One step equation, two steps equations and multi-steps equations. Multi-steps equations involve um, variables on both sides of the equations or maybe two variables, combining like terms. One step equation is the basic one when we have only one variable with a number. So in order to solve for this variable, what do we need to do? We just need to subtract 3 from both sides and we'll get m equals 6. That's all. One step. Done. Two steps equations is when we're solving the equation, so step one will be to isolate negative 3 by it opposite, so it will be plus 3, plus 3 on each side, this one cancel, and then we have m over 4 is equal 12. So that will be one step, and then the second step, we're still solving for m, and this is m divided by 4, so the opposite will be to multiply by 4. When we multiply by 4, we cancel those two 4s, and then m itself will be equal to 48, and that will be the final answer here. Multi-step equations, on the other hand, are the equations, again, they may have variables on both sides or a few variables on one side and combining like terms. It may be also an example with distributive property that you have to solve and cancel the parentheses first and then continue solving the equation. So we're going to start just with very, very simple example. If you draw your line through the equal sign, and your goal will be to combine those two. And they both are on different side, so we need to move one of the terms to the other side. And I'm gonna do negative 5n here, minus 5n. Why I choose to do that? Just because I like to keep my variables on the left side of the equation and all the numbers on the right side. So those two cancel. 3 minus 5n will give me negative 2n minus 1 equals 3. So now we gotta combine the numbers, so it will be plus 1, plus 1, those two cancel, negative 2n equals 4. And then one more step here will be to divide by negative 2n, both, I'm sorry, negative 2, no n, just by the number, both sides of the equation. So when we divide by negative 2, we will get only n is equal to, and again, this is 4 divided by negative 2, the answer will be n is equal to negative 2, final answer. So those are the examples with different types of equations. Let's continue solving some more. If we have given 2g plus 11 equals 25, we're solving for g, so uh, minus 11, minus 11 on each side, then 2g will be equal to 14. We'll divide by 2 each side, and g is equal to 7. Another example will be one of those like terms that I mentioned earlier. So we have 4d minus 2d. Those two are like terms, we combine them. 4 minus 2 will give us 2d minus 3 equals negative 15. Well, continue solving the equation for d, which means when we're solving for a variable, we save the variable. And we gotta get rid of this number over here by it opposite. So 2d will be equal to negative 12. Final step, divide by 2. So d is negative 6. Final answer for this example. Okay, I think I have a couple more, or a few more for you. So next one that I want you to take a look will be the example with distributive property. So 4y minus 7 is equal to 3 times 2y minus 5. First thing, always when you have given parentheses, make sure you cancel them by applying distributive property. So 4y minus 7 is equal to 3 times 2 will be 6y, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Then, again, combining those uh, y's, so it will be minus 6y, minus 6y, those two cancel, negative 2y minus 7 equals negative 15. 
then I'm going to add 7 to each side. So negative 2y will be equal to negative 8. One more step will be to divide by this negative 2 number because we want to cancel that. So y is equal to, look at this, negative 8 divided by negative 2. When you simplify fraction with two negative signs, remember it always changed to positive and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the answer will be positive 4. What happened when we have absolute value? So think about what does it mean absolute value? Well first thing absolute value is always equal to number positive which means it's always equal to any of our real positive numbers are called also whole numbers. So let's take a look with this. When we have absolute value of number absolute value of number that we don't know equals to another number, first thing make sure you have this one as a positive. So if you have something like this, absolute value of x equals to negative 3, this is not possible. No solution for this. But if you have absolute value of something equals to positive 3, or a positive number, then you separate that and you make two equations. And first one will be x equals 3, and the second one will be x equals negative 3. Because no matter if you have absolute value of 3, this will be equal to 3, and also if you substitute this negative 3 inside the absolute value, will also be equal to a positive number. So when you're solving absolute value equations, you always separate to 2. One of them will be equal to the same exact number, and the second one, make sure you equal to the negative of that number. So this is a basic example, but let's see if we have something else inside the absolute value. So this whole thing is the absolute value term, and this whole thing is equal to a positive number, which is great, works for us, so we just need to separate this into two equations. First equation will be 4x plus 1 equals 15, and second equation will be 4x plus 1, this time this number but with negative sign negative 15 and we have to solve each one of those equations separately to see what x could be possible equal to so we can get this absolute value uh, solution so minus 1 minus 1 we have 4x equals 14 divide by 4 so x will be equal to 14 over 4 could be simplified to 7 over 2, or this is also 3.5. Okay, and next example, minus 1, minus 1, those two cancel. We have 4x equals to negative 16, divide by 4, so x equals negative 4. Or the two answers that we can get here will be x equals 3.5, and x equals negative 4. So those are the two possible solutions for this example to be true and the absolute value to be equal to positive 15. Final example, when you have given something like this, number times absolute value equals to 18. And just again, I'm thinking now, when you have those two straight lines as a brackets, it means absolute value. That's how we recognize the absolute value of symbol. It's not parentheses, it is just absolute value. So again, in order to solve for this absolute value term, you first thing, you want to get rid of the number outside of it, because otherwise you can't start the separation of the equations. So first we will divide by 3 each side, and then we will have absolute value of 2x minus 2 is equal to 6. Now, we will separate the absolute value of 2x minus 2 equals positive 6 and 2x minus 2 equals negative 6. With this, we're going to solve the equations, so plus 2 plus 2 to each side, 2x is equal 8, divide by 2, so x equals 4 will be the first solution and plus 2 plus 2 cancel those, 2x equals 8 divided by 2 will give us second solution for variable x. With that, today's video about equations 
absolute value equations will be completed. So more questions and discussions could be done through Schoology and in class practice time. Thank you for watching the video.